Well, now to a story making national headlines. A Wisconsin man is facing homicide and kidnapping charges in connection with the disappearance of 13-year-old Jamie Kloss. The young girl missing since October when her parents were murdered has been found alive. Natasha Brown is in our satellite center with the latest on this investigation. Natasha. Well, you know, the discovery that Kloss was alive set off joy in our hometown of Barron, Wisconsin, population 3,000. An all-out search that gripped the state with many people fearing the worst is now over. A sign on the Dairy Queen in Barron, Wisconsin says, Welcome home, Jamie, after word spread that Jamie Kloss is alive and safe nearly three months after she disappeared. It's amazing the will of that 13-year-old girl to survive and escape. Investigators say Kloss turned up in Gordon, Wisconsin, a heavily wooded area about 65 miles from her home. They say she escaped on foot from where she was being held. She approached a dog walker who took her to a nearby home for help. She looked really tired and like she's been fighting a battle for weeks. In cases like this, we often need a big break, and it was Jamie herself who gave us that break. Claus had been missing since her parents were shot to death in the family's home outside Barron on October 15th. Authorities say she had been taken against her will by 21-year-old Jake Patterson from Gordon. Investigators say they believe Claus, who witnessed her parents' deaths, was Patterson's only target, although they didn't give a motive. I can tell you that the subject planned his actions and took many proactive steps to hide his identity from law enforcement and the general public. Law enforcement officials say after months of searching for Kloss, it was an emotional moment when they found out she was alive. My legs started to shake, man. It was, it was awesome. It was just the stress and relief. Authorities asked for privacy for the young teen and her family as she goes through the healing process. Well, Patterson is now in jail on kidnapping and homicide charges. Investigators say the unemployed man did not have a criminal record in Wisconsin. That's the very latest for now. Live in the SAT Center, Natasha Brown, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Natasha, thank you.